Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is Monday, the first day of the week in September and school starts back for us tomorrow. It's a holiday here, big holiday, it's called Labor Day. But I'm not doing any labor, it's a rest day. Um, obviously not that much of a rest day because we are at the barn. Girls have gone down to get their horses, you just saw that. Um, it's scorching hot, it's scorching, but we still have to exercise our horse. So we're just gonna do, uh, it's cool in here, we're just gonna do a sh very short ride, get her a little bit exercise, Storm and Stella. And we have our friend Kaylee here, she's exercising her horse. Then we'll be back tomorrow after school. This big, beautiful tech. Well, that's crazy, why'd you do that? Cause he just follows you anywhere? Yeah, he's not a runaway pony. Good boy. Skinny Stella. I don't know where my pony went. Where's your pony? <laughs> She's going away. Yesterday Stella was so fresh, but today she looks a lot better. I've never seen Stella actually in heat yet. She's a lot happier? Yeah. So, you know, I've never seen Stella be in heat since we've had her, and we've had her for two months. So maybe yesterday, maybe she's starting to go into heat, or maybe she's in heat. Maybe she's just grumpy. Yeah, she maybe. She had tons of hair, but she was snacking. Was she? Okay, well good. She seems much more calm today. Skinny she is. I know, she's getting thinner. She doesn't look as thin today as she did yesterday. Our horses do the best, sorry. Our horses do the best Mom, when we exercise them every day. Mom, I'm pretty sure I can feel her bone right there. Good. I'm gonna canter bareback. Yep, I feel them. They're there. Molly, you want them to canter bareback? No, jump. Jump bareback? I would not. Um, everybody keeps telling me this saddle pad is pronounced totally differently. Some people say it's Lumiere. Some people say it's Lemieux. So, I don't know how it's pronounced, but um, one thing I like about it is that it's got these Velcro bits at the top that you can ha hook to your saddle. And because she's so wide barreled right now, it really helps to keep it in place. I love it. Sophie already has dirt on her face and she had a shower last night. I'm gonna start her on a supplement for her belly too, just to coat her stomach because she's on a diet. I just think that will make her more comfortable. I know Storm did it. It is a totally different horse since starting that um, a supplement. supplement. Um, I don't think he had an ulcer before. Uh, our vet didn't think he had an ulcer before, but whatever it has done has changed his attitude for sure. He's just a happier, more easygoing horse. Unless you put an ear bonnet on him. Put an ear bonnet on him and he's not happy. We got bareback riding in session. Jump it. What? She's gonna jump bareback. She's gonna jump him? Yep. Is she really? Did you hear pressure? Oh. Kaylee's on store on text bareback. I don't know if you guys remember, but um, she had a fall in the winter when she was running bareback. And he spooked. Really he fast. spooked and she went flying off. So it's good that she's back up facing her fears. Oh, cool. It's a hard thing to do. Yeah. Fears are a hard thing, huh? Yeah. Uh, Storm's over there terrified. There's some work being done outside. He spooked at the men out there welding. One good thing about having your own horse is that your saddle, your stirrups, always stay the same length. When you ride school horses, you always have to change the length of your stirrups. I love her mane. I was brushing it today. I can't wait to, since she's not gonna be going to any shows this year, I um, want it to grow really long and beautiful. Yeah. You want your hair to grow really long and beautiful? Keep you warm in the winter. Except for we're gonna have to trim it a little bit. Yeah once this stuff grows in. These girls make bareback riding look so easy, but really, if you have no core strength and you do it, it's shocking how hard it is. But Gabby just put a, uh, said an important point, and I agree, holy cow. That's incredible. Because I got on Stella bareback before, literally I felt like a sack of potatoes on her, and I, every time she moved, I just kept sliding to the side. My two points. No, my actual two points. So, uh, Gabby Jess told me an important point. The key to doing really good bareback is instead of keeping your toes down, heels up, you could not use your thighs. 
but when you keep your um, heels down, toes up, it automatically locks your thighs when you try. Yeah, so show them, do it. So basically, so toes down. legs stretch down like that. And then, oh, put your heels up. I know, this is the harder way. So there you go. So that's what she does with her feet. She puts them. No, we're gonna run into deck. Completely straight up. Her toes completely straight up and her heels down and it pretty much locks you onto the saddle. Yeah, even when you do this. I know. Even when you do this. Watch, boom, she falls. <laughs> So Gabby has not fallen. My kids don't fall very often. Sophie fell two times. <laughs> Sophie fell two times in six months. And Sophie, Gabby hasn't fallen in about eight months. Don't jinx it! Oh! And I'm not jinxing it. I have fallen up three times. Three times in a year? Four times this year, last year? All right, Texas. Yeah, see, well, you don't fall very often. Well, the only reason that is because I had to take a three month break. <laughs> yeah, because you had all that break. Yeah, and then when I got back on and we started jumping again, he started spooking at random things because he thought, oh, I can get her off again. Yeah. Just go, so now we've had that problem and now he's not spooking at anything. Oh, he just whipped me with his tail and it actually yeah, hurt. Yeah, did that to my face. Big revenge. You want to get on him? Not right now. <laughs> Chicken. Kaylee just asked Gabby if she wants to ride Tex bareback and Gabby's like, yeah, okay, but not right now. <laughs>
You think there's my girl. Riding with friends is the best kind of riding. All right, this girl is gonna canter on somebody else's horse. He's harder. That's the worst when you go through that bumpy section before they canter. There we go. Oh. Okay, my heart is in the chest, you guys. So some guys are working outside and making a lot of noise. Stella's a little nervous about it. And Sophie's a little nervous riding Stella when she's fresh, you guys. Good girl. Don't act nervous. If you act nervous, then she'll be nervous. Good girl, Stella. Yes. Good girl. Good girl. Not too, too close of a circle. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Okay. Take her over it and let's see what she does while they're sawing. You're okay. Good girl. So she just tries to get really fast. It's different when you ride with your instructor than when you're by yourself. Kayla's gonna do some jumping. Bare back jumping. And it's just a little jump because they're bare back. <laughs> jumps really high. How, how do you how high do you jump Kaylee? Three. Three feet. They want to go higher. Oh I love that. Three ponies in a in a circle. Funny how the story goes little hope of bigger dreams. Uh, they try to bring a sucker down singing louder than the crowd. We are cooling out our horses now because it's too hot to ride them too much. Right, we switched it up a little for cooling out. Sophie's gonna cool out Storm. Bare back. Actually, she's been starting to get really confident and bare back. You guys remember, she's only eight. The girls are going to cool down, cool off outside. I don't even know where they went. One good thing about riding bareback is that you don't have to put your saddle away after, but the girls have nailed it. Like, I don't know who that Gabby is, but that's the Gabby I want to keep. Carrot stretches. She's like, just get me the food. <laughs> Go on the other side now. So the chiropractor says that Stella is doing, she's fine. Back-wise, neck-wise, she doesn't have any pains like that. Just her legs. But all horses benefit from carrot stretches. Uh, Come on.
girl. Not too light. <laughs> One thing about Stella that you guys might not know is that she's like so feminine and she's such a girl. If we give her an apple, like the other horses are like, ooh, an apple, and she takes little tiny bites out of it until it's all gone. If we give her a carrot, she takes a little tiny bite out of it until she takes it when she, but now that she's actually on a strict diet and she's actually losing weight, she's like, give me that little carrot. Like, thank you. <laughs> Stella's allowed to have a carrot or an apple or something um, after she does some work. Just like all the other horses, a nice healthy treat. All right, it's about to happen. It's about to happen. <laughs> On days like this, the girls wash their horses down. I don't know if you guys can see, but they- Tex drinking out of a, an actual water bottle? And De Tex is drinking out of an actual We're water bottle. Gym, so I thought it Selfie's giving Stella some water and then they're gonna oh, take them yeah. down. She's like, thank you, it's so hot out. Lots of water. And off they go, two black and white paints and a bay. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.